plan connecting community members and law enforcement. That event tonight at a local barbershop to talk about the problems the city is facing and how both sides can work together. Miriam McCarr has our story. Haircuts and hard conversations. We're afraid of you. We don't want to call you in fear of getting into trouble. The other thing is we got on the both Milwaukee police officers and residents here tonight say those tough conversations are the key to opening the door to collaboration and keeping peace. The Atlanta based nonprofit Clippers and Cops came to Milwaukee's north side and facilitated an open forum discussion with free food and free haircuts. Ty Dennis is the founder of the group and a former officer for over a decade. For me, I worked gangs for 10 years. I was a patrol officer for six and a half. His time wearing the badge showed a need for citizens and officers to better understand each other. Pretty much everybody that came across my desk looked like me. They were a minority. And for me, I wanted to do something to keep them from coming across my desk. When Arletta Slaughter with the Milwaukee Christian Center met Ty and heard his story, she knew the discussion needed to come to Milwaukee. She says building that bridge between youth and police is a community effort. It takes a village, right? So they need to hear from not just the teachers, mom, dad, but also law enforcement because their community as well. Wednesday's discussion ranged from asking hard questions. How do you rebuild that relationship with officers and To finding similarities. At the end of the day, we might not agree about how we want to get there, but we do have the same goal. Peace, harmony, love, respect, Let's continue working with each other. Now organizers and participants are hoping to continue the conversation. If we can change a few and save a few lives, it's priceless. To keep violence and crime down in the city. In Milwaukee, Miriam McCarr, TMJ4 News. And ahead at the table tonight, the owner of G's Clippers, where that place, where that event took, a, took place tonight. He will be here to share more about the event and his work to build relationships in the community. Miriam mentioned that keeping crime down in the city is the goal and as we move into the summer numbers for violent crime are down from last year homicides behind last year's pace by 35%. There's also a 6% drop in non fatal shootings compared to this time in 2022.